Hi guys. Okay, so let's have a look at this question, which was sent to me by a student. Let me see. Can I enlarge it? All right. So here's the question: A curious pattern occurs when we look at the when we look at the behavior of the sum two uh, k minus one from k equals one all the way to n. Find the value of this sum for a variety of values of n below. What types of numbers are you summing? What types of numbers are the sums? Find the value of n such that so and so and so equals 196. Okay, so I did solve this. It's only three questions, so it didn't take me that long. Again, if you have any types of question, any type of question, please send them to me. I, w I will um, post a video about how I solved it and explain it. My email is kb2232 at nyu.edu. You can see my email down during the, uh, at the description of this video. So let's see how this was solved. Okay, so the first one. So let's take a look at this. When n equals 2, let me get my pen out. So you can see. So when n equals 2, this is what happens. n equals 2, 2 times 1. You, so let me first explain k equals 1 to n what that means is that you, you would substitute k for 1 and then you add it with k for 2 and then you add it with k for 3 you add it with k for 4 all the way until you reach n whatever n is in this case they, they're telling us stop when k equals 2 that's what they're telling us so so check out the thing that I did I made k equals 1, so 2 times 1 minus 1, then I made k equals 2, and I stopped. You see, I'm not continuing because they told me n equals 2. That's how the sigma sum works, the sigma notation. So 2 times 1 minus 1, that gives you 1. I have it here. 2 times 2 minus 1, that gives you 3. I have it here. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Here they gave me n equals 3. Stop at 3. So the same thing here. Do the first two like I did here. One K equals 1 here. K equals 2 here. And then one more. K equals 3. And I got 5. So 1, 3, and 5. 1 plus 3 plus 5 gives me 9. So the next one, N equals 4. I, I didn't want to waste time and do, to do this. Because I saw a pattern right away. And I want to show you this pattern. The first one, N equals 2, I got 1 plus 3. The second one, N equals 3, I got 1 plus 3 plus 5. So obviously, the next one, I'm going to get 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. And then for n equals 5, the next one, I'm going to get 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. And it keeps going on and on. But the question only asks for n equals 5. So I stopped at 9. So, and that gives me 25. 4, 9, 16, 25. Basically, it gives you the sums, well, the... The, the, the total summation gives you the sums of perfect you know, perfect squares. 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. That's what. Okay, let's go to question B. B says, "What types of numbers are you summing? What types of num? What types of numbers are the sums?" Oh, I just answered that. So the types of numbers that we are summing, the one, three, five, seven, are positive odd numbers. One is a positive number, three is positive, five is positive, seven is positive, and they are odd numbers. And they are sums, like the question says. It says, "What types of numbers are the sums?" They, the type, the sums are perfect squares. Four. 9, 16, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. Now this one says, find the value of n such that 2k minus 1, uh, uh, sigma sum 2k minus 1 gives you 196. This is pretty simple. If you think of the type of uh, sums that it gives us, it gives us 1, let me get my pen. This, the types of, the types of, uh, the type of sums that it it's actually giving us if you start from two square or even one square is one four nine sixteen twenty five thirty six how do I know that let's go back 
4, 9, 16, 25. Same thing. 4, 9, 16, 25. That's the type of sums it's giving us. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, all the way. These are perfect squares. What do I mean by perfect squares? 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. 7 square is 49. 8 square uh, 64. It goes on. 9 square 81. It keeps going. So this is the same thing as me writing n square, where n starts from 1. Then it goes to 2. Then it goes to 3. So because I can say do that, I can put n squared equals 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Then I can set n squared equals to 196. Why? Because this sum equals n squared. This sum right here, it equals n squared. Why does it equal n squared? I just explained it. It gives you um, perfect squares. 1, 4, 9, 16 for different n values. So because this eventually equals n squared, I'm going to set n squared equal to 196. What am I getting 196 from? It's in the question. Go back. It equals 196 right here. This is where I'm getting 196 from. That's what they gave us in the question. So because it's giving us 196, then I take the uh, square root of each side. I get n equals 14. Check. Thank you. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like the channel. And also, if you have any question, if you have any uh, type of homework question that, or any uh, confusing math question that you want me to solve, whether it's math, chemistry, or physics, it doesn't matter, or computer science, um, please send it to my email. My email will be in the description. And, and give me a few days, and I'll get back with you. Thank you.